Okay everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, I just want to do a follow up on this 2000 Buick LeSabre with the ABS problem and I got a little outline here just to make sure I cover everything. Um, I went back to the left front wheel speed sensor. I stabbed directly across it with a scope. Uh, it turns out, wouldn't you know it, the signal looked super great. Just like the right side. So, at that, and I'll show you, I'll show you what that looks like on a Pika scope. So it turns out I couldn't find nothing wrong there. So I thought maybe there was a, and actually, and I went back back to the EBCM again, measured the signal there. Turns out now the signal looks okay. So then I said, okay, maybe there's a wheel bearing issue going on, or hub. Uh, so went back, and I did this before I pulled the wheels off. So I looked at the left side, I looked at the front side, I looked at a little bit more scrutiny on it. Still didn't see anything wrong with either side. So I said, okay, maybe the wheel bearing hub is starting to fail and we can't hear anything, we can't see any uh, play in there. So I got my ultrasonics detector there. So what I was doing there is I'm using, I was using this right here and uh, turns out everything was great. Didn't hear anything at all, left and right side. So uh, I was really hoping I could find something for you guys to actually show you that we could do a repair but I think the most important thing is that I you know I was able to show you the methods of how to check your ABS wheel speed sensors and most importantly you also keep in mind you want to make sure that you get your bias voltage checked on there and one good thing is when you do get your bias voltage on there use the methods of where you know moving the harness to see if you can get the voltage to drop out in fact I even went back redid that test on the left and the front side absolutely nothing perfect there also one other thing is uh, keep in mind that some of the cars out there has the wheel speed sensors that's actually external where you can actually replace them same methods apply that I've already shown you and also your uh, reluctor wheel is actually outside where you can actually look at it if you see any mud or any kind of debris in there say in between the teeth you know, clean that up. That'll also cause you an issue. So, at this point, I believe I'm going to have to just close this here video series out. But I did get my, the main objective was to actually show you some of the methods of how to check this out. And, uh, and I'll, I'll do a follow up on it and I'll show you that wheel speed signal on the, on the left front side, which looked pretty, pretty good. So, I appreciate you guys watching. And if anything does pop up, and comes up with this here ABS again, then I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. And thanks again for watching. Hey guys, this is uh, this is Terry with this here 2000 Buick LeSabre. As I promised, I'm going to show you the left front uh, wheel speed sensor signal. Uh, if you look at it, you can see it looks pretty nice, just like a AC sine wave. Okay, nothing wrong. Uh, this is the up here is where the buffer is at. I got 15 buffers here so we can just step through them. This is where I was allowing the car to run just going through them looking at them. Didn't see anything wrong. So as I've already pointed out uh, right now everything looks fine so I, you know you can't fix anything that's not broke at the moment uh, so I'm just gonna let it uh, ride out if anything pops up here then uh, you know as far as an issue comes back then I'll be sure to keep you guys posted so at this point I, like I already mentioned I'm gonna go ahead and just close this video series out and uh, if anything does pop up like I mentioned I'll, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted so I appreciate you guys watching and uh, you guys take care